Hello and welcome to Toneless Painting with M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I've brought to you today is called Summer Afternoon. It's an 8x10. Um, it's one of these ones painted over the um, burn number, and underneath it is a failed painting of which I have no real clue right now what that was but it's gone which is great that means I don't have to look at it as I'm going through uh, stacks of old paintings and uh, feel that cringe of disappointment now summer afternoon um, was actually done before even as an 8x10 this scene uh, and it was one of the first 8x10s I ever sold up at Helena Bay, and um, it's got some real, uh, it's got some real differences from the um, the first time I painted it. But uh, in a lot of ways, it looks extremely similar too. And um, uh, you know, I really, I, I think from the standpoint of a collector, they might see me paint a scene again and go, "Ooh, I don't know about that." But I think what they need to realize is that every painting is its own unique object that's that really stands on its own. Um, the scene uh, that's being um, featured in the painting, the motif, is of course it's an important thing, but it's not the point in my work anyway. And this is one of the reasons why I like to revisit um, successful motifs. Now that that's not to say that the scene is not important. It is very, very important. Um, but what I'm really attempting to um, communicate with my painting is um, an emotional response to nature, not a, a, a rendering or depiction of nature per se. So, um, and that emotional response is always going to be different because I'm always different. I'm moving through time into the future just like all of the rest of you and I'm not the same person I was back in uh, oh I don't know 2011 or 2012 um, when I painted this motif before and um, this painting came out looking really good and uh, I'm really happy with it and I unfortunately I don't own the um, the other one uh, anymore so uh, I can't um, I can't compare them side by side, but I do have a high quality photo of it, and I can tell you one of the main differences is that I've, um, I'm just much looser with my paint handling now, and I do far less layers, so, uh, and a lot of times I'm able to hit my color notes um, far more quickly and accurately than I was, say, back in 2011, 2012. Um, that's not to say that paintings from that time weren't good, um, just that, uh, you know, I was uh, painting in a bit of a different manner. Lots of times I was using smaller brushes. I was certainly doing many more layers and, um, and glazes and things like that, and which is something that um, I've been getting away from. I have done, I do a little glazing. Um, lots of times I like to do glazing over my lightest areas of my first uh, color pass uh, to kind of unify things. And that gives me a bit of space as well to to pump up the brights even a bit more. And um, so I will I will glaze in those areas, but I won't be I haven't been doing any glazing with black in my recent passive paintings. Uh, I guess which uh, leads us to well before we get into what's happening in the studio. Uh, those of you that follow my blog might have noticed there was really no accompanying essay yesterday. Um, I've decided to sort of back away from that and to to try and get more content into the video portions that's well I'm always dropping useful information in the videos and funny enough the videos started out as being a complete sideline to the blog um, I was and am really into videotaping my painting process and uh, I had all these videos around and when I started out on the 100 days, it was originally just going to be text and photos. I wasn't even going to put videos up. But since I had videotaped everything, I thought, well, you may as well get these things out into the world. And um, the videos and the YouTube is actually gets a bit more focus and attention than the blog does now. But 
they work hand in hand and I continue to uh, believe that that's a good thing um, so if you go to the my blog what you will get from this painting is a higher res uh, reproduction than you're going to see in the video recording here uh, that's been color um, you know tweaked a bit and also two uh, versions of the image where there's a big zoom in so that you can see the actual detail of the brushwork and um, I think I'm gonna roll like that for a while now I I actually haven't seen a big drop in the blog numbers because of it I, I'm my feeling is is that people just aren't finding much time to read and I have um, covered almost every aspect of painting on the blog in pretty good detail um, to the point where I'd love to get a book together at some point and I might actually pursue that uh, the reason I don't get into that now is because I'm I'm concentrating on trying to uh, you know do more paintings and get my paintings out into the world and establish uh, a following and uh, um, you know, and uh, people that can buy my work, and um, I do believe that doing a book could could certainly help that as well. But it's just not in the uh, the cards right now. Uh, there is uh, some. I'm hoping to collaborate with some uh, someone who's an author actually on that. Um, but all that information's out there. If you're curious about my working process and you really want to hunker down and get into the nitty gritty of it, uh, start it. Start it an early place in my uh, blog from uh, a year and a half ago and uh, just move forward and I pretty much cover everything more than once so and I don't actually mind the idea of getting in and covering it for a third fourth or even fifth time but uh, we're gonna put the emphasis on the video so I've added a few more minutes to each video and I will try and touch on more uh, substantive uh, concepts and ideas instead of just rambling um, we're transitioning now though so as per usual I'm not stressing any of this it's all off the cuff it's all um, uh, whenever I come with as as I come up with it and you know uh, you could frankly just turn the sound off and enjoy uh, sit back and watch the painting uh, come together which is really my favorite thing anyway that's that's what the point of videos is and all of my archives videos are absent the sound that was going on in the studio around me at the time I was painting them so um, you know anyway so what's been going on in the studio I touched on it yesterday I've been doing some uh, five by fives and five by sevens on the burnt number and I've had done some nice little paintings um, the one I did yesterday it's a scene I I've been wanting to paint it for 10 years, but it's a, it's basically just a picture of some foothills. There's no real focal point, but I have to say that the little 5x5 five five study came out looking nice. It's got some really nice rich colors and stuff in it, and um, who knows, I have some 8x8 eight eight inch boards around. I might just... Uh, pop it on an 8x8 and, and, and have a play with that uh, but I don't believe that I'll do it as a uh, um, as an 11 by 11 or 12 by 12 or certainly not as a 14 by 14 it's just mm, I feel like there's no strong focal point uh, who knows though I've done some some nice paintings of foothills and things that really didn't have a strong focal point uh, before I made the focal point this guy and uh, who knows who knows we'll see um, that's one of the things uh, when I'm in in study mode as I am now uh, I've got 19 subjects I'm, I'm gonna paint them all I've got one that's got I don't know it's got a river in the middle and then like a kind of pathway off to the uh, our left hand side and I'm thinking that's that I might not pursue I mean, I might, I, the thing I like about studies is I can invest the time and see what it looks like as an actual painting and uh, sometimes uh, you know uh, I, I'm convinced that it looks really good I did do and I know for sure one study uh, last week that I know will make a very nice larger painting so this is the thing if I have 19 studies and I come up with 10 of them uh, that'll make strong larger paintings and I feel that's time well spent and uh, the studies are little nice paintings on their own right in their own right um, I do need to as an artist I, I've got a lot of these st uh, small studies around and I'd really like to find a good market for those um, I am looking at I think it's called Sachi I'm not sure if uh, the thing with small paintings is that's a certain kind of market and um, 
a lot of people want bigger work uh, of course bigger work takes more time and costs a lot more money um, one day though I'm convinced I'll find a, the perfect place for all of my little studies and uh, just sell a heap and I actually sell a lot of them out of my studio don't get me wrong but I paint quite a lot as well so yeah, we'll see how that goes anyway that'll be next week is uh, you know uh, we, next week we're going to continue on with these uh, 19 scenes I've comped up and uh, hopefully the week after uh, we'll get into uh, well probably going to be second passes on them to be honest so this is taking up a bit of time and it's prior to this museum show but uh, you know I've got to, ultimately I've got to follow my intuition and uh, my intuition tells me to go ahead and pursue these studies and uh, if I have to I probably have enough large work to mm, put into the museum show as is now um, whether uh, everything I have is extraordinary I, I I like more stronger work but you know that makes me pretty much like every other painter out there um, so that's what's going on in the studio um, and what's going on with the blog um, if you have some feelings about the uh, blog uh, you know let me know I have I have got comments on the blog a lot of times I miss them though because I don't get that much uh, um, people commenting on the blog so I tend to not notice that anyone's commented until months <laughs> months later so if you've ever commented on my blog and I hadn't, hadn't res responded well then you know what's going on and you know sorry about that but you know I always appreciate uh, people leaving comments it's always great to know that people are getting something out of uh, what I'm sharing and um, you know that's what it's all about sharing and caring <laughs> um, so we have a few minutes left here uh, not much time actually um, I guess uh, I'd, I'd like to just say here that this painting was done in two passes and I feel that uh, that was enough and you can see I've really pumped up the brights in the background and I think that's really what makes this painting is that contrast between the trees and the bright grass behind so oh hey, hey, here we go I can see we're getting close to the end thanks for joining me today if you enjoyed this video click on subscribe follow the channel I love it. Or you can go to my site, landscapepainter.co.nz. You can see some uh, some of my work there or follow my blog from there. The, on my blog, there's a larger, better copy of this image you can check out. And uh, we'll be back next week or maybe even Wednesday uh, with another video. Meanwhile, take good care and stay out of trouble.